artists. I'm Mrs. Stone and I can't wait to teach you all about art. This year we're going to be unlocking different stations in the art room. A drawing station. A painting station. A collage station. And a sculpture station. We will start with the drawing station and I will teach you all about the different drawing techniques. But first, there's a few things you should remember when you're in the art room. When you enter the art room, you will quietly line up around the table with your feet on the tape line and your hands by your side. I will then tell you about what materials we will be using. Please use your best listening skills so that you don't miss out on any important information. If you have a question for me, please raise your hand. Then it's time to create. But remember, have fun and don't stress. Just try your best. Be creative. Try to make something that no one else would think of. Don't be afraid. Artists are fearless. Just get all your ideas onto the paper. It's okay to not like your art sometimes, but keep working. You never know what might happen through the process. You can talk all you want, but not when the teacher is talking. Use inside quiet voices and raise your hand if you have a question for me. Take care of the materials and tools. No one wants to use dried up markers or broken materials. And always treat others kindly. Be safe, which includes keeping your hands to yourself and using walking feet at all times. And when the teacher rings the bell, stop, Look and listen. This means it's time to clean up and there may be special instructions. I'm here to remind you if anyone forgets, but if you continue to make bad decisions, you will be asked to sit in the chill out chair. Now that we know the rules and routines, let's start learning. So what are some things artists draw? Well, artists draw what they see, what they remember, what they imagine, or what they feel. If you ever get stuck and can't think of an idea, you can use the idea jar. When you start drawing, always use a pencil because if you make a mistake, you can just erase it. Then when your idea is complete, you can start coloring it. Today I started a drawing for you. Can you finish it? Use your imagination. What could it become? Try to fill the page.